Hi, and welcome to another policy video from Gravity. This time, we're going to be talking about the assigned content policy from the API management product. Okay, so let's go to the next slide. So really straightforward policy. You can use the assigned content policy to change or transform the content of the request body or the response body. And that means that if you've got data coming in from a API request, you can actually tailor the response or the request such that it hits the back end or hits the, the API caller with the response or request that you want them to see. And that means that even in a really great example that we've got in our documentation, you can translate JSON to XML or vice versa. And it's a really great way of actually manipulating a particular response for a particular target. So let's get cracking with the demo. So what we've got here is we're building on the, the last um, policy demo, which was assign attributes. So and we're going to be testing in Postman. So let's go to Postman and make sure that our APIs are still working. So let's go to send and it's brought back um, the response as we wanted it. OK, cool. So now let's go back to the final API flow here. So we've got our transform headers there. Let's look for assign content. So let's drag and drop that into there. And we're going to assign the context. Now this uses the free marker language. So let's just go back to here and make sure I've got this correct. OK, so if you go down to the description, you can actually see an example of us using this policy. And the example that I talked about was JSON to XML. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to steal that part of the free market and put that there. And just block that off for a second. There we go. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use our attribute. So I'm just going to return the attribute that we used in the assign attributes policy video. And I just want to see if I can change the content to just return this attribute. So let's give that a go. So all it's going to do, it's going to um, assign a variable which takes in, uh, which takes the whole um, body. And I'm going to use that in a second. And then I want to just return the API call type in the response. So let's just give that a go and see if it works. So now all I've got to do is go back to Postman. And you can see that now I've got the API call type coming back just by itself. So now what we've done is we've changed the response content to actually just return that. OK, so now let's change this to return the body as well. So let's just return the actual body of the original content. So let's just save that and deploy and then try again in Postman. OK, and see if we can return as well as that top API type field we can return the original content. So let's now send that through. And you can see here now, we've got the top line, which is the API call type, which we had here. And then the rest of it is the original body that we're returning as well. And in this way, you can actually pick out certain elements of the body and um, manipulate them or change them or amend them, embellish them. But also, you can actually add different elements of the context type or context attributes like we've done here. And the example that we've got here actually shows you. So you've got a JSON um, original request body. This is JSON. But what you've done is that you've actually changed the request, um, sorry, changed the response to actually embed it in a XML structure. And you're taking a particular element, so body.symbol. So that's just returning the symbol element and returning it in the kind of an XML format. So in that way, you can actually use the assign content.
policy to manipulate the response and subsequently tailor it for your particular use case. Okay, and I'll see you on the next policy. Thank you. Bye.